Hi guys, this is Annie and tonight I'll be showing you how to do this neon floral manicure for the spring. So I hope you guys enjoy this video so let's get started. So here we have the items and tools that I will be using on tonight's video. I have my cleanup brush here and that's to clean around the edges of my finger as we're done stamping. I also have my cotton on my cotton claw, my stamping plate, my Bondle Monster Scraper which is my favorite. I have my clear jelly stamper that I'll be using tonight and I'll be stamping with my Born Pretty Black nail polish. I have my favorite fast drying top coat here, some non-acetone to clean around my nails when I'm done. I also have a lint brush in which I use to clean my stamper and I have chosen these colors of my choice for this particular video because I'm doing neon colors so you can grab whichever you have and I'll list these on the description box for you all these items will be listed there and you can check that out if you really like these colors all right so let's get started okay guys so I have gone ahead and I have already polished three of those nails because it takes a little time to do that and I don't want you to, to be sitting there and watching me just polish the stamper and then stamping it. So I'll just show you how to do two of them and you can go ahead and proceed to doing the rest. I have opened up all my nail polishes in advance and my acetone and stamping polishes and everything is at hand here. So I recommend you do the same because the polish really dries up quickly as you are applying it on the stamper. So I'm using this heart plate that I purchased on eBay and it's not a name plate, it's a number series. And this is plate number 10 and it's full of floral designs. I am randomly picking a design for a nail and I'm painting each of those flower on a different color so there's not too much of a light colors next to each other as you could see here. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick out a flower and I'm just gonna start painting it in and stamping it right on. And there we have the flower and I'm just going to take a quick look to see what color is next to that one. Here I have blue so I think I'm probably going to do this main color of the flower in an orange. Alright guys and that's pretty much done. I am leaving some empty spaces on the stamper as you can see. I haven't colored in that and the reason for that is I also want that base color to come through. So I'm just going to stamp it on there. Immediately clean up top coat and remove that latex and then we'll move on to the next. pressing down and rolling and you can see that underneath you could see the image is transferring over to the nail and once I pull this up there's going to be a lot of the image peeling up there we have to clean that up there it is and this is what I'm talking of the excess image that's gonna come out that's not a problem just tap this down make sure it's nice and secure I'm using my little cleanup brush Clean around the edges immediately and that'll just break apart as you do that like so. Go to the other side, do the same. I'm going to top coat it immediately. Don't forget to cap the ends like I usually say and I'm going to pull out my latex and I'm going to the way I'm pulling out my latex is usually you'd pull it out from this way going up. I am actually going to pull it out from around going the other direction 
because if there's any nail polish that's on here, it's going to flake off and fall right back onto that top coat that you just applied. So just keep that in mind. If you are going to use the latex, peel it backwards in this case. So if anything has to fall, it'll fall on your finger and you can just dust that right off. And that's it. Let's do that other finger. So now we have the orange, the darker orange, the light orange, blue and pink. So I think this one, I'm going to keep the big flower on this one, the base color. So I've already used that one. So I think for the other flower, I would choose this one right here. Why not? part of the image which I want. I don't want the whole thing because, because I want to put some different colors in there as well so I have some leaves and stuff going on to paint that in green. So the main flower is going to be in that base color that I use which is this neon yellow. And again I'll list all these colors at the bottom for you so you could take a look at them. Get some orange in the middle of that flower. Now, if you don't have a jelly stamper, it's not a problem. I'm just using the jelly stamper because I like to flip it over and see if there's enough color on the other side of the image that you're painting on. So that's why I like the stamper to do this particular reverse stamping. I'm going to try and put as much color as I can put on this one because we are using the base color already for that huge flower. And then you can flip that over and see what it would look like and that's why I like this particular stamper for this reverse stamping because you could actually flip it over and see what needs to be painted more um, and this particular one we did a good job so I don't have to worry about it so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the nail now And part of this one came out. So I'm just going to press that in. Then I'm going to give it a quick cleanup around the edges. And we'll top coat it immediately. So I'm going to go back and clean up what's left around here and I'll be right back. And that's it guys. We're all done with my neon floral manicure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tonight. And don't forget to subscribe for my latest videos as well. And if you have any questions about this manicure, you can always feel free to write to me. I'll answer them as best as I can. Have a good night everyone. Bye bye.